from the completed budget of over 200 million. And you ought to give yourself a clap offering. We are only $14 million away from being debt free. Oh, come on. Come on. And while I'm trying to raise the last 14 million, Along comes a dear brother and sister and says to me, do you have any debt? I said, yes, we do. We have 14 million. He said, would you do this? Would you accept a gift of $2 million? He said, would that help reduce the budget? I said, of course, 14 less 2 is 12. And he said to me, I'll give it to you provided you go to your donors and you ask them to give a special mortgage burning, celebrating, offering to remove the complete indebtedness. If they'll match this two million, I'll give the two million. So, Brother Srila, you'll have four million. Well, we released that about two weeks ago to our partners and many of you have responded and we just want to say thank you. But I want you to know this morning as we received the first major offering for this outreach, we are going to have a glorious, victorious time we're going to get together, I think, in San Diego. And we are going to, by the grace of God, November, we want to be completely out of debt. So everything that you give and pledge in this offering, when Brother Io comes out of here like an incredible anointed apostle and prophet of God, I'm telling you, everything we give this morning, if you give $10,000, which some of you are going to have to do, oh, come on. I sold my airplane and gave it two and a half million dollars. I sold my office building, got nine and a half million dollars. That's some of the things that's been going on behind your back. The miracle about the sale of my office was not the selling of the office. That was a miracle. But I got the people who bought the office to pay me one year in advance. So I got the money and I'm still in the office. Come on, only a Jew could do that.
But that's some of the miracles that have brought us to this point. And just think, we're only $14 million. Somebody's going to give me an offering of $10 million. I don't know who you are. But we are going to be debt free. God told me that as soon as this thing is over, the building and so forth, maybe my time to slip away to heaven. But he said to not leave you with any obligation. <laughs> now, if you don't believe I love you, you got enough evidence right there. <laughs> you will minister for God through this legacy outreach. I'm telling you, once it is released and known to the world, there is nothing like this anywhere in Christianity, anywhere in the world of the worldliness, including Disneyland. Oh, you didn't hear me. We are going to lift up something that will bring honor, glory, to a living God that the world will know. We serve the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses, the God of Elijah, the God of Elijah. He still reigns. Oh, come on. Give him praise. Lift your voices. Speak in other tongues. Sanda la baraka. Shapa karamando. Yay! 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 There is none like him. He is God. Will you turn around before you're seated and tell somebody I love you? Come on. That's the greatest anointing on you is the love of God. You may be seated. I just wanted to get you updated. Ladies and gentlemen, my beloved partners, what an inspiration it is for me. You have no idea about the emotion that runs in my heart tonight, this morning, when I bring to you this apostle of God, this Indeed, man who inside him lives our Lord. Will you give this man a welcome here this morning by standing and giving the Lord praise for his life? Well, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah! What a blessing to be alive. 
What a blessing to be here today. Clap your hands and give God the glory. Sit, sit, just sit, sit for a moment. God bless you. And you know, just last Sunday, Dr. Sorulo was in our church. And, um, by God, the electricity, the intensity of the presence of God in that service. I will never forget it. What you may not know, sir, after you left, we had, we had announced that because of where you had walked on, you preached from, people should bring a piece of cloth and just put it there and pray and take it home. And, and they came the next day and did that. Testimonies are coming in like crazy. People have been healed. Sugar diabetes. High blood pressure. A lady that had a tumor. And had carried that tumor for more than 15 years. It just melted away. All kinds of miracles. And I know when I get home, I'm going to hear some more. And they're happening every day. Incredible. Because you are a part of this ministry. God bless you. I want to thank you for standing with the man of God. May God do for you what you can never do for yourself. If you believe it, I want your amen to be very, very powerful. I want that amen to be very, very powerful. Clap your hands and give God the glory. For a man amongst men, a preacher of preachers, a teacher of teachers, an apostle of apostles, a bishop of bishops, my God, a father to fathers, I don't know what to say. But I'm just a blessed man to be part of this great ministry. I thank God. Thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me be a part of what God has put on your life. I was telling a story, please forgive me, just a few days ago with some people that came to see me. Of how when I think I've told the story in one of these conferences, how I was in the se I was going to see cemetery, no. Seminary. That was the place. Yeah. And, and I was there. I, it was boring. No, don't tell them I said so. But I went into the library. Just looking around. And I saw a bunch of Deeper Life magazines. This was in 1973. Amen. They stacked it up in a Baptist seminary. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So I would sneak in there every day. And they thought I was deep in theology. <laughs> and I was eating up those magazines every day. Every day. Every day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life. Thank you. Thank you. I think you need to stand and clap your hands and give God the glory for a man that God has set apart for a time such as this. Clap your hands and give God the glory. Let me hear your hands. Clap them and give God the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen and amen and amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated wherever you are. God bless you. In Matthew 11, verse 12, 
one of the most read verses, quoted verses in the Bible. It says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of the heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Ladies and gentlemen, life will not give you what you deserve. Life will give you what you demand. You must learn how to take it by force. Yes, God made promises. And they are true. In fact, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 1.20 All his promises in him a yes and a amen. That's true. But you will not receive what God says because God said it. You will receive it because you take it. It is yours. But there is a devil out there that will do anything to stop you from getting it. But I've come to tell you that there is enough power in your life to take what belongs to you that devil is a liar if you believe it wave your hand and shout yes 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 take it by force in in matthew 7 7 the bible says ask and you shall receive seek and you will find Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And then the first sentence in the next verse says, He that asketh, receive it. That's true. But then when you look at Daniel chapter 10, and you begin to read from verse 12, where the archangel Gabriel said to Daniel, Daniel, the first day you asked, the very first day, God sent me with the answer. He said, but, Wave your hand and shout yes. 
Wave your hand and shout yes. Wave your hand and shout yes. My God, wave your hand and shout yes. I said, wave your hand and shout yes. God cannot lie. But the devil is trying to make him a liar. You must not let that happen. What God promised you will come to pass. The devil is a liar. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. This is your day. This is the ninth month. The month of fruitfulness. That devil is a liar. You can receive it. You will receive it. If you believe it, shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Let me hear you shout yes. Yes. Let me hear you shout yes. Yes. Go ahead, shout yes. Yes. My God, the Spirit of God is in this house. Lift your hands up. You can take it. 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 You can have 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 it.